My friend, if you can't do a setup, don't let it ruin your day. Here's how you can build up. You can start with easier exercises and work your way up. You'll be pleased to know you can do all these exercises in the comfort of your own bed. People ask me about that all the time. First, you can do knee tucks. Work these once or twice a week until you can do three sets of 30 before moving on to the next step. When you're strong enough to do that, you can move on to knee raises. First, your movement will be fast and jerky like this. Over time, learn to control every inch of the movement. You can move on when you can do three sets of 30. For the next step, we're just going to straighten our legs a little bit. These are called bent leg raises. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Work these once or twice a week until you can do three sets of 25. At this point, you might already be able to do sit-ups, but let's add one more step. Straighten out your legs all the way and just do straight leg raises. To make it harder, don't touch your heels. Keep them an inch or two off the ground. And bada bing, now you can sit up. High five. If you want to know more about leg raises and core exercises, I'll leave a YouTube link in the comments. Have a beautiful day.
I really don't know. Just think of the headache it caused. I understand. Yes, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Look, uh, welcome back, everyone. Coming up right now is one of our favorite guests. He is the chief aide to Baron Administrator Lando Calrissian on Cloud City. Please welcome Lobot. All right, all right, Lobot. Great, have a have a seat. Take take a seat, Lobot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Lobot, uh, have a seat. Yeah. You guys on fire. Okay, Lobot. Yeah, Lobot. Uh, Lobot, buddy, we got it. Lobot. Let's wrap it up here, Lobot. Okay, let's take a seat. Throw okay. Some imperial credits and then wow. Lobot. Oh yeah. Lobot. Really. Please. Can we cut the music? Can we cut the music? Yes, yeah, please. You stop playing. You stop dancing. Okay. okay. Come out. No, so you get hurt. So the... okay. Oh, I, I, I'm trying to do it. Oh, okay. It's, uh, that, that's the wrong way. You've done the wrong way. Lobot. Lobot. Okay. Okay, Lobot. Really? Come on. Wow, that was uh, intense. Oh, oh. Good, good. Okay, well, uh, I'm sorry to say, Lobot, but you actually wasted all of your time dancing. We can't talk about your new book. We can't talk about your new single. That's it. You wasted all your time. Fair enough. Play me off, Emperor. No, do not yeah. play him off. This is, this is my interpretation of it, take from it what you will. Um, there's the, the global technocracy that's rolling out, that's pulling everybody away from humanity, pulling everybody away from God, making them into basically farm animals in a CAFO. You know, hack them, track them, stack them, pack them. Big, you know, farm CAFO, caged animal feeding operation. Everything centralized, all one way stream in, or, or, or one uh, input in, one waste stream out, incredibly toxic for the human and toxic for the environment, whatever. That's the world that's being created for them. Pump you full of vaccines, just like caged animals, right? You, when you're raising animals in a CAFO, you need all the vaccines, you need all the antibiotics, you need all the steroids because animals don't naturally live that way. And so in order to create an environment like that to produce a meat product like, like the, that the farmer needs, it's the same thing for this whole um, 5G technocratic rollout. This is the big, massive monoculture, everything is centralized. That's the way people who aren't watching this live stream <laughs> are going. And those of us watching it, generally speaking, are on the awake side and we're moving into the 5D. And I believe that humanity will go into a great transcendence and a great awakening. Either the, it's the Great Reset versus the Great Awakening. And those of us on this side, this is what I was talking to Richard about the other day, 
is I believe that we're actually protected. I actually believe we're on the side of God, we're on the side of the Creator. We are actually protected because the serendipity that's happening for me and everybody I know who sees the, the cage for what it is and sees the oppression and sees this great reset versus the great awakening, unbelievable serendipity and um, inc incredible moments of synchronicity are happening for people that are aware and moving towards that. And um, God only helps those who help themselves. And so if, 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 you're, if your plan is to sit around and just pray and hope and wait, you're not, you're not on the train, man. You gotta get shit happening. You gotta make things happen. You have to be a provider. You have to be a creator. You have to do things for yourself, your family, your, um, your extended family, and, and even your greater community. And all of us that are on that track, there's gonna be amazing things that are gonna happen to us. And there is going to be a, a bipolarized evolution, I believe. And I think we're seeing that as people wake up uh, to what's going on and it's it's an amazing time so it's, it's absolutely an amazing time and uh, like I said I can really only give you my perspective because I'm just one man living one life but uh, and um, it's it's yeah it's an, it's incredible so I think we're in unprecedented times and I'm really excited for what's happening and uh, you know the apocalypse are are continuing as usual. Uh, I'm just gonna riff a little bit before more, as more people come in the stream, and then we'll get into the Q and A. Um, in British Columbia here, uh, it's not you know I hear guys like Jeff Berwick and Alex Jones, uh, people a lot of people in the U S. or around outside of Canada. They think Canada is this massive lockdown state. It's not. It's not. That's in the old country in the old Hudson's Bay Company, Quebec, Ontario, some of the Eastern Seaboard provinces and, and part of Manitoba, they are more locked down. In BC here, we're not locked down. We never have been. Um, if people are locking themselves down, it's self-imposed because they're just listening to everything the, the boob tube is telling them. But it is, uh, it's not, we're not locked down here. Yes, there is a provincial mask mandate that has no legal teeth, but uh, it's um, it's not locked down. But anyways, things are changing here. And I'm gonna make a little prediction here. Um, what they're gonna do is it's like, the totalitarian tiptoe has always been two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. It's like a boa constrictor that crushes you and then releases so it can get a tighter grip and then crushes you more, releases to get a tighter grip and so on and so forth. This is what's happening right now. And so what's gonna happen in British Columbia, and that's, that's again, this is the world I'm in, so I, I pay a little bit more attention to what the technocrats are saying here, is they're going to start releasing things back a little bit for the summer. And we're gonna see, the, there are no checkpoints. There are checkpoints in BC, but they don't mean anything. I see uh, Aries coming about that. Checkpoints mean nothing. Uh, Dan Dix put a video out uh, last week where he just said, I'm not telling you anything and you can't do anything. And they let him go. They didn't even ask him to see his driver's license. Checkpoints are just a facade for people who don't know anything about the law or even the legal system. And it's a complete diversion. If you're dumb enough to believe it, then you, I, I believe you deserve to be uh, restricted in your travel. But the checkpoints mean nothing. And they're only out of the lower mainland. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys where my, my property is, but I drive uh, a significant amount of hours each week to go back and forth between here and there, and there are no checkpoints. There's some signs that say don't travel because of the Rona, but that's a sign. What authority does that have? Um, and anyways, they're going to release these restrictions. They say it's going to be July 1st, and they're going to they're going to drop their provincial mask mandate. And so, I think what they're doing is they're testing to see how brainwashed their sheep are. And so they're going to drop the mandate, and they're going to see how many people actually keep doing it because. There will be no mask mandates technically, so you'll be able to go into stores, but my guess is that the stores are just gonna keep forcing it because they wanna see how brainwashed and compliant all of these caged animals and caged animals are. And then they're gonna they're gonna drop the mask mandate until maybe September or when school comes back, and then they're gonna they're gonna 
They're gonna rack up the, they're gonna crank up the threshold on the PCR test. They're just gonna run the, run the higher cycles because they're running lower cycles for people who have the, the vax and then they're running higher cycles for people that don't have the vax, right? So that's, that's on the record. That's even on the CDC, they, they, they've said that. They're all doing the same shit. So they're just gonna crank up the threshold again in the fall and pump the fear and go, oh, we shouldn't have let you not wear masks. We shouldn't have let you not hug grandma. Looks like we got to lock you guys down again, and then people will be so much more willing to do it. And so that's the that's that proverbial boa constrictor, tightening and releasing and tightening and releasing until you're dead or until you're basically brainless and soulless in a in a kafo. Um, and so I think that's what's going to happen. And uh, the mass people are everywhere. Meter gear, dude. It's just it's absolutely mind-boggling the stupidity of it all um but you know i try not to focus on that because like one thing i've said to people is like just get shit done do stuff food water energy shelter focus on those four things other things are important too but those things are absolutely critical for life uh, everybody needs to have a year's worth of food everybody needs to have at least a couple weeks of water everybody needs to have you know, you can work towards the energy, like everybody's got shelter, but it, people can work towards energy in some way or another. Maybe it means that you've got a generator at your house and you've got like, call it a few hundred, um, you know, a few hundred liters of fuel. I see some butt hurt here from Chad, unsubscribing. Thank you, get out of here. Yes, stand, idiots, <laughs> please unsubscribe. Um, I'm not in it for the numbers, you guys. I, I'm not. I, my, my, my career has actually exploded since I've come out with this truth or stuff. So I don't care that there are sheep out there or social justice warriors that are offended by the things that I say. The faster you guys unsubscribe and go away um, is, uh, is better for me. So I'm happy to, you know, go away, please. It's not a numbers game for me, it's a quality game. I'd way rather have people tuning into my um, streams uh, who are switched on and see the truth and are here for that information. I mean, I, I'm here to show people about farming and all that too, but frankly, I'd rather teach people that aren't sheep. And so if you're, if you're a fucking New World Order sheep, go away, I don't give a shit. Sorry for the profanity, but... Uh, Sometimes it's hard to annoy the idiots. Um, and I thought I shed most of those out, you know, because like about a, a couple of years ago, I really started kind of coming out of the closet with some of my uh, liberty minded viewpoints, non politically correct. I thought I shed most of those losers back then, but I guess some of them are still around. Gentlemen, are we agreed? Agreed. I'll think about it. Agreed. Uh, gentlemen, I say farewell. 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 I like this plan. Half of France will soon be ours. Why settle for half when all of France can be ours? All of France? Yes. We don't need escargot. Exactly. Exactly. All the castles. All the chapels. All the windows. All the drapes. All the leather. All the lace. All the forests. All the flowers. All the land. All the grass. The rocks. The stone. The pebbles. The dirt. The mud. The mud. I have a new destiny. 